Oops. So it was here. Then there's a. Uh, let me pull this out and show you guys. I never take it out, but there's a thing called the interlock connector. So you can take your magnet, put it in, and it just looks like that. And uh, you can see on this shaft, where is it? There's this groove for it. So obviously the interlock connector goes in here. And then the other shaft that goes in here, you know, it's going to be flat and have a groove. So you can only have this in a groove at a time. It keeps you from being double engaged. But just be sure that you don't lose that. There you go. Here's the reverse arm. You'll see that in a minute. So then you can see here, let's just explain this. You can three, see these three holes. And there's this hole. And you'll see eventually there's going to be a spring and a ball. And that's neutral. And then that's like in gear and that's in gear. And that's how your shifter gets notchy. Otherwise if it didn't have this everything would be loose. This is that. The interlock connector's in. Pull that over. Yeah. I gotta put this one in first. That in. This in. Now I remember. Oh, that's upside down. There we go. It's got this notch for this shaft. That goes like that, that goes like that. Take that off. Slide this down like this. Gotta make sure that you know, this, that's this way because that's where it goes in the trans. That's there, that's there. Swiss, you guys can see there it. Is. I'll apply them the rest of the way later. Then there's this one. Obviously, this you can see these go here. So this shaft's here, this shaft's here, and the top shaft's through the other part of the case. See, this is going to line up with that. So now, see the interlock ball. Here's the notch for it, so I can't because it's pushed out. So I got to pull this shaft up. See, till that interlock connector goes over there. Now, there, and these all line up. So essentially, how your thing shifts gears. So yeah, the shifter you know, comes in the trans here. And as you can see, you have this, and it can go, you know, left right. It's like you're going to shifter left right, you know. So let's think. This is reverse. So this would be, you know, put it fifth in reverse. Uh, reverse would be up. So this would be fourth, third. And then second, first. And that's how the shifter works. So that's what these three gotta. Obviously, you gotta have these three line up and put it in. So I uh, gotta put that bolt in. And then I gotta torque these three. And their torque spec is 17.
Okay, we're going to ask it tight. That's tight. That's tight. And that's tight. All right. Now we're going to install these balls. I'll show you that. So essentially, it's just an outer shell and there's a spring. I don't know if you guys can see that in the middle, there's a spring. And the ball fits on the inside. And that's it. So you put the ball in. Put this in. That's the open side because there's a closed side. You know, closed side, open side for the ball. And those, these go in those grooves in the shifter. See the ball right there and you just push it in. Okay, and then there's just these little Allen plugs. And then Toyota calls for some Bonding agent or whatever, it's just blue RTV. I figured it out. I just put a little blue RTV on the threads of this. You can buy this stuff from Toyota, but it only comes in like a five gallon bucket or something ridiculous. The special Toyota ones, but I, like I said, I researched and found it's a blue RTV. I gotta wipe my hands off a sec. This is just a, uh, I believe it's a six millimeter Allen head, right? Yeah. Take the ratchet, snug it up. Okay, the kind of torque spec on that is 18 foot pounds. That's good. That's good. All right. Next, it wants you to put in the reverse idler gear. So, this is, you have the gear itself, then you have this shim or whatever you want to call it, and you have the rod, then you have the bolt that comes in from the outside of the case and holds it. So it goes like that, and then like that. Then you just plop it in here. And here, since the cameras really can't see it, I'll do this with my phone. I'll put it in the video. So you can see on the top here that there's this alignment mark. You want the alignment mark going to this, because that'll line up this bolt when you put the case on. Otherwise, you'll be off. You just gotta line it up like that. 
This is the arm that, you know, this goes into the groove here. And this part goes here. So when you bring this up to shift in the reverse, it pulls this up and pulls this gear up. And essentially, you see the straight top cut teeth here and the straight cut teeth here in the shaft. So this just goes in between them. That's how it spins the opposite way. So this bolt you can just put in. Then this side bolt gets shared with the tab of this pipe. And then there's another one for the tab over here. All right, here I flipped the transmission so you guys can see this. Obviously, I showed you the bolt on this side, but here you can see this goes. And there's no gasket, it just presses in here. But there is a gasket on top for the case. All right, here I flipped the transmission so you guys can see this. Obviously, I showed you the bolt on this side. But here you can see this goes, and there's no gasket, it just presses in here. But there is a gasket on top for the case. You just put it in, line this, and you know, put that in, line this bolt hole up, put that one in, and that's it. Put those two bolts in. So there's between the pipe and this thing, there's three bolts, they're all the same bolt. Let's try and get it started, and then I usually do it. You know, and you gotta be careful of this, you always. End up knocking it so you gotta realign it again. all the way to the socket. All right, and the torque spec is 13 foot-pounds on that. And 18, there's 13. Good. This one. That's good. So we'll check them. That's in. Yeah, it tells you install a new gasket, which that gasket's only got about a thousand miles on it. So now we're to the point where we RTV this and put the case on. So I don't think. Where is it? Here it is. There it is. I got the Toyota RTV. It's orange. I don't have the thing, and you can just go and lay a bead and it tells you where, but I just lay it flat. pop the case on and then I mean you can double check some stuff 
like, I'm not sure if you guys can see, but this is the reverse lockout. Make sure that that's working right. You know, it goes up and then that way. Make sure these troughs are in because it feeds oil each side. Yeah, that's really about it. There's not much to it. I'm up the other way this time. So just put it on. You need to make sure that this hole gets this in it and then these three holes are uh, the shafts. Oh, I gotta take this bolt out make sure that's aligned. So I do that make sure I don't forget. Yeah that's good. All right, so you're just basically going to try and jiggle it on so it gets to all the dowel pins because it's not going to fall in. And I'm down. So now, here to the dowel pins, you got to draw it on with all the bolts. There's how many are there? It's going to stay in here. Uh, Doesn't say oh 17. There's 17 bolts and I you know, went out and bought. So you have there's 17, you're gonna have 14 going down this way and three coming up through the bell housing. I like to start wherever you see a dowel pin. I like to do the bolt right next to the dowel pin. And start with those. At least just get them right up to it. Okay, I see that one going in a little. Alright, so you can see there's one, two, see it? One, two, three holes in the bell housing. So I'm going to put them in and torque them. I just want to show you. So after you torque down the 22 foot pounds all the case bolts the next step is the bolt that goes to the reverse idler you're just going to if you this is why you have to line it up it's so hard to get in is because there's kind of like a, a factory bolt it's like a blue RTV or I mean a blue um, lock type kind of thing and then you're going to torque it and it's 22 foot pounds same as the case bolts Okay, so once you're done with that, you can start on the top doing all the fifth gear stuff.